Good afternoon. My name is Mike Evans with Energy Systems Southeast, and today I want to welcome you to the Energy Systems Southeast Tech Topic. Today I want to cover the Generac 21 Lite Remote Enunciator. And this is an NFPA 110 remote enunciator. Take a look at it right here. I'm going to show you a close up view here in a second with a picture. This is the surface mount version of the remote enunciator. As you can see, it has a knockout on the, butt, on the back. It also comes with a, uh, an optional flush mount kit where the enunciator fits down into and it mounts flush into the wall. The same knockout in the back uh, will be in both devices. So uh, basically, let's take a look at the remote enunciator and why you would have one. But what does an enunciator do? It gives you local indication of the generator functionality. So when the generator runs, it's going to tell you that with the gen run light, um, if, any, if there's any type of alarms like battery charge failure, low battery voltage, low water level on the generator, it's going to alarm at this buzzer and then uh, also light up with the exact indication of what's wrong. So, uh, you, know, you know, to call a technician and go check it out, okay? But the, uh, the remote enunciator is required by NFPA 110 when dealing with life safety and uh, NFPA 110 level one systems, okay? Uh, again, this is the Generac H panel generator uh, and remote enunciator. It's made to work with the H panel generator, not the power zone or the IntelliGen. If you have a power zone or IntelliGen, please email sales at ESSCLLC.com and we'll get you the wiring diagrams and information on those enunciators. Okay, so let's take a look at the control interconnection. Okay, and if you look at the control interconnection, the main thing that this enunciator needs is DC power to run it. It also needs communications cable. So what do I pull and where do I pull it? Okay, the generator itself has a six pin connector on it. I'll show you real quick, look at that. Okay. And as you can see, the six pin connector is over here on this side. And that's where you would connect uh, the DC power and the communications cable. Uh, but if you see right here, the DC power is either going to be 12 or 24 volts coming from the generator battery. You would pick that up on the generator in the low voltage generator connection cabinet. And that is TB2. You're going to connect the TB2, those pins right there. And then you're going to feed the remote enunciator panel DC plus and minus. Please do not get those uh, voltages reversed. You can damage the remote enunciator. Okay, so once you connect the, uh, the wires or what type of wire, I guess, I always tell people run a set of 14s that'll cover most distances. If you uh, have further distance, uh, you know, you might need larger wire, um, but 14s would do it. Uh, some people like to pull a single jacketed wire with two wires inside of it. That's also acceptable. Uh, a lot of people pull 18s if it's a short, uh, short run, but, uh, you know, just figure it out per distance as to how far you're gonna send that uh, DC voltage and uh, just make sure you have the right size wire. That's why your know, 14s generally cover that, okay? You also need communications cable. If you can see right here, you land it on the RS-485 plus and minus, and then you're gonna run that to the generator, TB1, and then it's gonna be a shielded twisted pair is what we recommend. And I like a Belden 9460 is the typical recommended wire two wires, shielded, twisted, and then uh, you're gonna connect your shield to the generator in where it says to in TB1. And that'll cover your generator uh, communications cable remote enunciator connection, okay? Now uh, let's look at the remote enunciator set itself. Um, we have multiple configurations of it. What we mostly have or see out in the field is just the standard gray remote enunciator panel, okay? You can order the flush mount kit with it. I typically just go ahead and send that with all mine just to make sure that, um, um, you know, if you get out in the field and you need to mount it one way or the other way, uh, it's, it's a very small adder to have the flush mount kit sent with it. Okay, so surface or flush mount. Um, we also offer the standard remote enunciator, but we offer it with the eight relays that you see right here, the 5464. Those eight relays can be used with the building management system. And it's just a set of uh, four main relays that uh, can, can indicate any of these functions coming out of the remote enunciator. Send it to a building management system, send it to some other piece of equipment that you need in your building uh, for that indication, okay? Even if it's just generator common alarm, we can send you that as well, okay? Uh, looking at the wiring again itself, you have a communications line, RS-485, fully isolated, twisted pair cable. 
build a 9460 R equal, okay? And then uh, the power supply is a plus R or minus, or I'm sorry, plus 12 or plus 24 volt DC. All right, okay. It's gonna give you these indications. We can program the spare for any other indications you, indication you'd like to see. These are the dimensions here, the surface mount and the flush mount configurations. If you need hard copies of this or, or electronic copies of this, again, email sales at ESSELLC.com and we'll be able to assist you. If you have any questions, please email sales at ESSELLC.com as well. Thank you. And uh, I think that pretty much covers your Generac 21 light remote announcer.